Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to the monthly meeting of the Arts and Culture Commission. Uh, today's date is Thursday, July 16. Richard, first item on the agenda, please. It's a roll call. Um, Commissioner Stepanian is absent. Commissioner Lee? Here. Commissioner Dehovenissian? Here. Commissioner Solis? Here. Commissioner Wagner? Present. Commissioner Gregorian? Present. Chairperson Kivanian? Here. The agenda for a July 16th meeting was posted on the bulletin board outside City Hall on July 10th, 2009. Okay. Next item, please. Consent item, approval of regular commission meeting minutes from June 18th, 2009 at 2 p.m. Is there a motion? I have a couple of comments before making any motion. Move, move approval of the minutes. Second. Okay, go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> not a major thing, but um, on page three of the uh, minutes, item six, one, two, three, four down, the guards of ruins at Luna Playhouse. Um, it's just a little misquote. I didn't see this uh, at the Luna Playhouse. I saw it in another venue. But the um, play was being transferred to Luna Playhouse for the following weekend. So this, the way it is reported is that um, I saw it in the Luna Playhouse. It doesn't really matter, but you know that's just a little clarification. Where did you see it? Um, it was a private day care center at Glen, oh, I'm sorry, at uh, San Fernando Road. It's called Glendale Day Care. And they had uh, allowed their facility to be used for this, and I also commended them. That's another partnership of private uh, business with uh, arts that I was going to mention later on. But where I saw it was at the Glendale Day Care Center. And also... Uh, do you, you want to say... How about we include uh, right after the the guards of ruins, which will be presented at the Luna Playhouse? Yes, okay. I think I think if we if we yes, thank you. If we if we amend that in that way, that will be uh, uh, that will be a good uh, correction. And also one other little uh, point in that very same item, uh, it is uh, really interesting. In every other place, we uh, uh, call the commissioners by their last name, which is the appropriate thing to do, and you have, re you have referred me as <laughs> Commissioner Grigori in other places, but here somehow I became Commissioner Rasmic. I don't really <laughs> mind it, but that's, I don't think that's appropriate. No, that, that was a mistake, oh, okay. Mr. Grigori. No, that's Mr. Commissioner, Commissioner Grigori. Oh. <laughs> it's not really a big deal, but it is, you know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how I got there. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I thought you, you, you nominated somebody else as uh, a new Commissioner by the last name of Rasmic. No, no, I, I take notes, and I don't do your last names. I do I, your first names. So that's, that's probably just, what happened. I'm sorry. I, that's just, it was to enlighten thing, but it's not a big deal. Okay. All right. With those couple of items, I will be um, voting for the uh, minutes. Okay. <coughs> I actually have one correction. The installation dinner for the Chinese chamber, which is the second, third, fourth, fifth thing down, is actually on June 19, not 17. I correction. will amend my motion to include those corrections, if that's the right way to do it. What was the correct date again, please? The 19th. 19th. June. June 19th. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you need to second that. Okay, I seconded that. All right. Okay, roll call. Please. Commissioner Stepanian is absent. Commissioner Lee? Yes. Commissioner Dovinissian? Yes. Commissioner Solis? Abstain. Commissioner Wagner? Yes. Commissioner Gregorian? Yes. Commissioner uh, Chairperson Kivania? Yes. Next item, please. Uh, excuse me. Introductions and presentations. Introductions of um, Micha Michelin E. Abu Nassar, whose artwork was presented and blessed by the Pope Benedict. Help me out here. I don't know. What is that? The 16th. <laughs> and shit from Glendale to the Vatican. Thank you. Oh, it's backwards. 
Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah that's yeah, not really it, correct. That's yeah, not 16. The, yeah. Okay, I'm very pleased to invite Glendale resident, painter Misha Michelin Abu Nazar, whose limited edition she clay titled The Savior was presented to the Pope Benedict the Sixteenth at the and blessed by him at the luncheon with the ordinaries at the Holy Land. Since then she has been publicized internationally. But I better uh, invite her so she will tell us all about that. Welcome, Misha. Hi, um, good afternoon, everybody, and thank you so much for the invitation. Um, thank you, Rep. Sime, and thank you to uh, Mr. Lee for the invitation, and uh, thank you, everybody, all the board. And um, I've, um, uh, for the past month, I've been uh, overwhelmed with um, a lot of uh, contacts and uh, people that are interested um, with what has been happening. Um, as far as beginning with my painting being sent to the Vatican, uh, to the Pope, it was on May 12 um, of this year that, um, that my painting was sent first to Jerusalem when uh, Pope Benedict was um, at his pilgrimage there. And um, they saw my painting and they liked it very much of Jesus of Nazareth. And um, they said it depicts uh, Pope Benedict has a book about Jesus of Nazareth and they um, liked the painting so much and um, it was shipped to Jerusalem first and uh, the same day on May 12 the painting arrived there um, after three weeks of being um, in the shipment and the first um, that same day on May 12 at the luncheon the painting was presented to His Holiness Pope Benedict the 16 and as I got word of that I I am um, uh, still to date. <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, very humbly honored by by that. And um, when I began the painting, um, my I my love for Jesus and Mary um, is is great. And I wanted to paint Jesus in a way to um, to show love and peace and for the world because. There's really so much going on in the world that we need inspiration and hope, and um, and Jesus is everything. He's love, and he's um, he's everything to us. So um, when I did that, I was looking for somebody to uh, recreate, to make a G Cleese for me. And with my search, um, I came across a man who's very passionate about. Art as well, and his name is uh, Mr. G. of Graham, and um, he's with me here. He's my master printer as well. Um, I would like first, before I begin the slide, to for him to explain a couple things about the process and the special um, tea of of the artwork. Thank you, Mr. G. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's really an honor to be here. Yeah. Um, and it's also an honor for me to be part of this process. Um, when Misa first contacted me and then asked, uh, to come, asked me to, if I would um, invite her down to the studio to show her uh, the, um, the Savior as an original, I was really, really, excuse the, the pun, blown away. It really spoke to me. And um, from that day on, I've been very much impressed of the journey and the accolades and, the, and um, notoriety, notoriety she's received through this. The process involved taking a, a reproduction with a, a large format digital camera so we can um, achieve the brush strokes, the depth, the detail, the color, and um, that's what I achieved with the, the special camera. And um, the, it's printed on canvas archival canvas which will last probably 150 200 years and uh, it's pure archival canvas and um, it's um, printed on an Epson printer very high end Epson printer very high resolution that's why you see all the detail in this uh, particular image and um, as I said it's an honor for me to be part of this it's an honor to be part of Misha's life in, in this uh, process and um, wish her all the success thank you very much Thank you very much, Gio. Um, <coughs> oh. Okay. okay. 
Okay, we will um, begin the slideshow presentation. And uh, yeah, just click the slideshow. The slideshow yeah, here. Just click it. You want to take a look at it? Sure. Okay. I think maybe this was clicked once. Let's just get back up. Okay. <laughs> Frozen. Can I make a Mac plug here? <laughs> or Mac products? Apple. Well, yeah. Well, you want Are you? Are you? I, I specifically want a Mac. Are you so advertising gonna... Mac makeup? Or Apple Why would computers? You, why would you even know about that? I'm just saying. <laughs> Apple computer. No, it should be wireless. Can just run the Should CD. we get the same? Okay. CD only. I suggested. Can you explain what's going on, Mr. Chair? Yes, of course. To the, um, to the audience at home, there is a computer uh, issue right now, so uh, we're getting a CD, and it's being rushed immediately to the computer via jet, via uh, via, <laughs> via military via, escort, via Connors. <laughs> I think probably it's better if we turn it off and on again. It might yeah. work. Yeah. Can you push control alt delete? Is that one? Yeah. yeah. Almer, why don't you take a look at it? Uh, sh yes. Let's take let's take a brief recess if that's okay with everyone. About let's take two minutes. Sure. Okay. We'll be back in two minutes. So do we continue to sit? Are we on the thing or not? Yeah. No, we are on recess. There it is, up there. Still, still letting kids down. They have plenty of money <laughs> to let you <laughs> go and. Yeah, I got in the college. No thanks to Glenn Unified. I think we are on the air though. Mm -hmm. No, it's on. It's on recess. Right? Were, I have to wait for something. Yeah, we're on. No, Saturday. it's okay. So they, the conversation is not. No, they can't hear us. Okay, now we're, on. we're on now. All right, uh, I will be calling the meeting back into session, and we'll be continuing with our, uh, our. I can't think of presentation. The word. Presentation. presentation. Oh, sorry. Just calm down there, Commissioner Rasmus. <laughs> thank you very much again. And um, thank you also to Gio um, from Graham Editions, who does my um, Ajiklis as well. 
Um, I put a slide together here of uh, of a couple of special events that have happened also in the uh, past um, uh, just couple days, and um, this is my my gallery. And um, as you see here, I recreated the Mona Lisa as well from the uh, Louvre Museum. It looks exactly like the Mona Lisa there. I wanted to recreate it, and um, um, there it is. It took a while, but um, I, I did that. And uh, here we see His Holiness Pope Benedict XVI on May 12, 2009, when um, the painting arrived in Jerusalem at the luncheon at the Latin Patriarch. And um, thank you to His Holiness and everybody um, from uh, Jerusalem, the spokesmen and the religious officials and everyone. This is the Savior painting, Jesus of Nazareth, the Prince of Peace. And um, this is the reproduction by Graham Editions. This is uh, the picture that you uh, gave the uh, His Holiness, correct? Exactly, yes. Um, there's a, <coughs> it's a 500 limited edition, and um, as um, Mr. Graham also uh, uh, reproduced for me, um, the painting is um, light from the darkness, as we see here, and um, I made his eyes blue as a reflection of the sky and the ocean and because he suffered and cried so much for humanity and people's sins and for love and, and hope and for everyone and um, the reflection is uh, very bright and it's um, after the resurrection and um, as you can see a lot of the details there as well um, here's another picture of His Holiness with the painting. And he said thank you and, and stood in honor of the painting. He was very pleased. Uh, just a couple days ago, there was a big convention, uh, the NAM convention, from Our Lady of Mount Lebanon, St. Peter Cathedral from Beverly Hills, which I'm a member of. And... Um, uh, Reverend Abdullah Zaidan, Father, um, from the NAM Convention, they also asked me to present to Cardinal Leonardo Sandri, who is um, a prefect of the Congregation for Oriental Churches of the Vatican. And as you can see here, the summary of the NAM Convention, which is um, one of the biggest events that happens in Los Angeles and people from around the world they um, uh, come to the event and it was it's a really very um, a nice introduction and um, and a blessing as well when they presented to his eminence Cardinal Leonardo Sandri and it was at the Hyatt Regency Century Plaza Hotel Avenue of the Stars in Beverly Hills the NAM convention a five day um, July 1 to 5th. And here you see um, His Eminence, Cardinal Leonardo Sandri, with uh, the Savior painting that was presented to him on stage. And um, there were hundreds of people there. That was on July 2nd um, at the Hyatt Regency Hotel, the NAM Convention. And um, here you see as well Mr. Gilbert Shiguri and um, Gio Graham, and Father Abdullah Zaidan, and Cardinal Leonardo Sandri, and myself. And here as well, and also um, here when it was lifted to the audience, and um, everybody uh, stood up and started clapping at this moment. There were hundreds of people, and it was very... Um, an incredible experience, and very humbling, and, and thank you to everyone there, and to um, Father Zaidan and, and Cardinal Leonardo Sandri and, and Gio and my dad and Mr. Gilbert. And um, <coughs> here as well, it was uh, turned to um, the board members. And um, um, in addition, um, there's the, the Armenian Archbishop. Um, do, 
Do you know his name? Mm. Yes. I I say. Say. Mm -hmm. And um, <coughs> everybody else here at the presentation. And here's a um, clip of the audience as well. And here we have the next day when it was presented on July 2nd. Um, they asked me to present another one. Mr. Gilbert Shaguri uh, said, you know, pulled me to the side and said he wants to present one to Mr. Carlos Simhelo, who is the third richest man in the world. And he's a philanthropist and businessman from Mexico and Lebanon. Um, his um, earnings are among, I believe, $30 billion or, or more. And this was another um, a very humbling experience. And um, I want to thank Mr. Carlos Simhelo and Mr. Gilbert Shaguri for the chance and the opportunity, and Mr. Um, and Father Abdullah Zaydan and Cardinal Leonardo Sandri. Um, this was also at the NAM convention at the Hyatt Regency Beverly Hills, July 3rd. And here's another picture as well with Monsignor. Thank you to Monsignor, also Gregory, and the bishops and everyone. And um, here you can see the Savior painting in the um, middle. It's kind of, it looks like the Last Supper a little bit. <laughs> if you see, it's um, everybody gathered and uh, it's, uh, it's still, you can see the light from his face um, directed there. And uh, this is Mr. Gilbert Shaguri. Um, he is the ambassador of St. Lucia to the Holy See. And um, thank you to Mr. Shaguri for presenting also to um, Mr. Carlos Simhelo. And um, here also at the event is Secretary of Transportation Ray Lahoud of President of the United States, Barack Obama, and myself at the NAM convention as well. And uh, thank you to uh, Mr. Ray Lahoud. And um, here's the Los Angeles Mayor, Antonio Viragosa. And thank you to the Mayor as well, and myself. Um, and um, after the, um, at the same time, at the NAM convention, July 2nd, um, when uh, everybody stood up and started clapping, and um, the audience really was taken by the picture, and some people were crying too. And um, I was approached also by, um, by many people, and um, also uh, Father Habash, he bought um, one of the prints to present to uh, Patriarch um, at Jesus Sacred Heart Church on July 9th, uh, right after, as you see a, a lot of events happening right after each other, um, Father Habash presented to His Excellency Patriarch Ignatius Joseph III, where we were um, also um, aired on Nursat TV, which will be broadcast around the world as well um, on the same day in the Church of Jesus Sacred Heart. And at that moment also, um, everybody in church, when the painting was revealed, they gasped. And when that happened, it was like, <gasps> like that. And imagine it was, you know, like a hundred people or so. And, and that impact, it was really um, something amazing for me. To, to feel that and and to see what is what is happening with the painting, because I painted Jesus to look real, so he's he's looking real as if he's right there and, and you can see him. And um, thank you to uh, all fathers as well and, and patriarch um, Ignatius. And um, here here he is again with the painting. And um, here is everybody in church that was gasping <laughs> the painting. There we go. And um, also, um, Mr. Abadi uh, bought one from, from the church as well. Uh, I just skipped a picture. Those are my parents, <laughs> Edward and Ida. And uh, this is at St. Anne Malachi Catholic Church, another event as well. It's right after each other, and they bought one as well. Um, that was for Nursat TV. I'm sorry. That, yes, that's the um, donation. And um, here's the audience as well. Oh, this is my brother. Um, we um, I help him also with his uh, Galaxy Home Theaters that he does, um, Movie Star Homes. I help him, and and that's me when I was younger. <laughs> and uh, to contact me. 
My uh, website is www.mishasgallery.com. My email is mishasgallery at yahoo.com. And my phone number is 818-522-7123. If you'd like a print of um, the Savior. And um, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much to everyone here. And uh, thank you to everyone that's um, been involved in the process. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Misha. And uh, any comments, my colleagues? Comments? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Chairperson. 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 <laughs> Former chairperson. Former chairperson. Chairperson Razmi. Uh, <laughs> Former chairperson. <laughs> Mr. Gregorian. <laughs> Go right ahead. <clears throat> well, this is really a very nice uh, painting, and um, I wish I could uh, see a lot more of your other work in addition to this and the um, uh, Mona Lisa. Uh, I just wondered, uh, you know, f what I know you from was a beauty pageant in a uh, beauty, uh, I mean, a, a winner of a beauty pageant. Now I see you as a painter, and that's a great transformation. Can you, I, w I wish I could hear, uh, you know, the story of your interest in art and how you, uh, uh, you know, develop that. Uh, sure, thank you very much, Rasmik. I, um, I actually began drawing when I was five years old. Um, because of the, you know, at the time uh, that I'm here, I can't tell you my whole story, but uh, <laughs> um, I began when I was five, and I drew a church. It was in Lebanon. Actually, the, um, also the article came out today in the Glendale News Press. Um, the Glendale News Press contacted me, and they uh, came over yesterday and did an interview with me. And um, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Stephen Lee is mentioned as well in the article. And thank you very much for your wonderful comments um, in the article. It's it's really amazing as well. And uh, Ripsime as well. Thank you. Misha, could I and ask so, a question? Um, yes. So I was not very clear. So you did the painting yourself, and then... Uh, your friends you sort of made the reproduction out of that. Right. And for yes. Mona Lisa, you drew Mona Lisa again, you painted Mona Lisa from the painting, and then you worked on the print, is that correct? Actually, the Mona Lisa is, it's not complete yet, but it's near completion, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I have a lot of uh, uh, drawings and paintings, I have over 200, but I focused here today on the Savior because of its, um, you know, prestige and His Holiness and everyone and all the events that's been happening so far. I haven't had the, um, you know, all the time to focus on the other things, but um, as well, I've, um, I'm working on the Virgin Mary uh, for the uh, international project um, in Nazareth, which will draw millions of tourists, and um, they asked me as well. So that's uh, another um, humbling honor for me. And now, when you painted this painting, was it from something else that you were inspired, or it was just a vision in your mind, or how did it work? Uh, when I when I painted um, uh, Jesus of Nazareth, it was it was a compilation of many things. It was imagination with inspiration with mm -hmm. um, looking at you know all of the Jesus pictures and kind of merging them into one, you know, and from the Jesus of Nazareth and from from everything. It was just a compilation of everything and with a touches of inspiration, imagination. It was just a lot of things. So the original of this is in Vatican now? Um, the original is not there yet. But, but it is uh, going to end up I, at I the think, Vatican? Yes, it will that's, be that's ending nice. up there. And do you have reproductions and uh, are you selling those reproductions? I am selling the reproductions, Rasmik. And um, a couple people have bought already. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's really been uh, overwhelming these past two weeks. I have 500 reproductions, and I think the number is down to 480 right now yes, <laughs> or nice. so. Um, yes. Great. Any Thank you. Any comments? Well, uh, our commission has, uh, is going to be presenting a, a certificate to you, and uh, I'm going to have uh, Commissioner Lee do that uh, because he really brought this to... He, he really brought it to light uh, to us, to all of us, and uh, we thank you for uh, really your uh, your addition to what's already a cultural, huge cultural city as Glendale is. So, we surely are right
sure you get his good side. <laughs> Opposed to the dark side. Is it Dunning? <laughs> Maybe you can borrow, Mr. Uh, Commissioner, at least. Uh, <laughs> I think it's good. We have a lot of glitches today. Uh, video mode, I think, is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not, uh... No, you can take it without a flash. <clears throat> there we go. Oh. Water. Thank you. Right. Thanks again, Misha. Thank you. Thank uh, you all. Thank you, and good luck thank to you. you. Thank you. Thank you. For coming. Thank you. <coughs> all right. Moving right along. The next on the, on the agenda, please. Oral communications. Um, there are none. All right. Moving right along. Business agenda. Action item. Formation of a subcommittee to assist in developing art display policies. For that, I'm going to go to Mr. Grant. Uh, thank you, Honorable Chair and Commission members. Um, the only thing really before you at the moment is just to uh, nominate anyone who would like to be on the uh, subcommittee to discuss the art policy. Um, for your benefit, um, Ripsame has attached just a draft, and any initial impressions or thoughts or discussion about it will have to hold to another meeting. So, so any ideas on a subcommittee? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to join? <laughs> like for the to if I may, please. Uh, for the past several months, we've been working, as you know, we've been working on developing the policies um, for the temporary and permanent uh, display of artwork in the city's parks, public parks, and park facilities. <coughs> um, the draft that uh, was attached to the report, it was not for discussion, just for you to have an idea. But um, uh, the permanent um, display of artworks um, policy draft will be presented to you separately after it's been approved by the um, Director of Parks and the City Attorney. Um, at this time, we actually um, coming, are coming to you, um, asking you to um, form a subcommittee to help us and assist us to finalize this draft. Once it's been um, approved and um, ready, then we will be able to offer many opportunities to our city artists and art organizations with new opportunities. Yeah. So this new subcommittee um, <coughs> should be consist of two or three commissioners, maximum three, and um, we will be meeting once a week we're hoping that it's not going to take um, very long for us to finalize um, the policies, I mean to um, come, come up with a draft of the policy. Um, hopefully um, at least six to seven weeks um, we will have to get together once a week for an hour or two and work on developing those policies. So if you have the time. Um, to, um, to work with us, that would be just great. That's what we are here to ask you to do today. Okay. Great. I have a question before even uh, considering that. Uh, the title on the business agenda says, Formation of a Subcommittee to Assist in Developing Art Display Policies. That's, right. that's all it says. And the title of this um, uh, document that you have given us says, Art in Public Parks and Parks Facilities Policy Temporary Permanent Installations. We're not going to discuss anything. No, I'm not. I'm not ju let, me, let, me just add, let me ask you a question first. Sure. Um, is this document and is this committee that you are proposing to form going to consider only arts displayed in the parks or in public areas of all the city facilities? No, this is intended only for the city's parks and parks facilities. Parks and parks facilities. Can you explain what Public parks... parks. Can you explain what parks facilities are? Yes. In like the, uh, as, uh, you know, the center and the, the, the building like at the... Like the community room, like uh, we have um, Adam Square, mini gas station, we have also uh, Spars Heights. In the park we have Spar Heights Community Center, and we have visited to these facilities to see what kind of characteristics and um, they offer for us to use once we have the policies 
in CAD? So uh, basically the answer to the question is it is for the parks and park facilities like the community centers and the gas station and all that, but not for generally city areas like this department or I mean this building, the uh, <coughs> council b the building does not come within that. Uh, correct. Correct? correct. Okay. All right. That's what I wanted to know. Okay. Yeah. Can can we ask if there's a reason for that? Why it wouldn't include libraries? Or because I know there have been issues in the past. I know Brand Libraries, for instance, worked on a policy to or worked well, on libraries presenting inside the library, yeah. like art galleries, like the Brand Gallery. Well, not mean, so much. The, no, <coughs> in, elsewhere in the libraries or in the, if it's in the outside city buildings. the library. No. And it's a park area. It no, will co I, I, be covered under this policy. Why? I would think we would want to have a policy that would include all, all city facil any city parks and other city facilities. Could I, that be amended in the course of this committee? Yes, that can be amended in the course of the committee. And and any discussion about what we should think this should how the reach of this and how far it should go, probably we should save to another meeting. Okay. Right. right. Uh, no, that's that's understandable, but uh, the point is one has to know what we are volunteering to, for. I understand that, Commissioner. Yes, and uh, I think that uh, I think that more details will be brought out in the subcommittee meeting to assist you. Right. Second question: Is the subcommittee just for members for of the commission, or are there would there are there other people involved in the? We are not involving Eddie. anybody from outside so from it's the community. Staff it's just and staff and a few yes, the commission. Party souls. <coughs> Two okay. or three. Maximum three commissioners. So are there any volunteers for this? I, I will volunteer. Okay. In, uh, I'd say b mainly because I've had neighbors interested in the Adams Square Park for some time, and if I can help it happen sooner, okay. I will be happy to, although a couple of hours a week for seven weeks sounds like a lot to me. I'm hoping that that will wind up quicker. <laughs> we'll find out. I'll volunteer if no one, if it pleases the commission. Okay, uh, I will, anyone else? I'll save myself for the end if nobody else is going to volunteer, because I'd, I'd like to be a part of this as well. But if, again, I'm, I'll, I'll give up my spot if anyone else like would want to take it. Okay. I move that this is a motion, right? <clears throat> I move that we accept the three commissioners that have uh, volunteered to be on the subcommittee. A second. All right. That means roll call. Commissioner Stepanian is absent. Commissioner Lee? <coughs> yes. Commissioner Jovanissian? Yes. Commissioner Solis? Yes. Commissioner Wagner? Yes. Commissioner Gregorian? Yes. Chairperson Kivania? Yes. Item, please. Reports. Review of the art projects for 2009 through 2010 fiscal year. The Art in the Park project was introduced uh, to this commission at the January meeting. Originally, we were planning to have this event in September at Brent Park. By having better understanding of our resources, we believe at this time um, September is too close and we would like to reschedule this for November. Again, this is an, not an action item for us to make a decision. We just would like to let you know our um, resources today. And um, if you have any better ideas, if you would like to share some of your um, ideas and alternative um, solutions, we will be more than happy to hear about that. So um, if we um, change our event from September to November, it will give us enough time to send out the call uh, for our days letters and get the reply. This way we will have an idea if we have enough um, interested artists to be part of this event. If not, then maybe we would like to uh, replace it with some other project. You're talking about which event? Art in the Park, which was introduced to you back in January. And we thought we had plenty of time back then uh, for September to do this event. But now that um, the event is almost, I mean, September is right there, it seems uh, we don't have enough time. Oh, oh, by knowing our resources, we won't be able to do it for September. So I have a question. <clears throat> have you worked on it? Yes, we have started. And so, if we, 
you have the mindset that we're not going to be ready by September. So we're not going to be able to decide as a commission till next month. Not today. We are not no, going to make My question is, so are you going to continue to work on it to put it on in September? Yes, Commissioner Solis. We are going to send out call for artists as soon as possible and give them a deadline until um, August 31st. By then, or maybe um, August 20th, so before our next meeting. This way we will have an idea if we have enough artists who would like to be part of this um, uh, project and reserve the park at the same time. It has to be reserved. And um, if we have enough artists, then we will come to you and ask if you maybe will go ahead and uh, form another subcommittee for this event. We can use all the help that we can get. Um, the, uh, this is a, a brand new project, a new concept, never uh, organized before. So um, anybody who would like to get involved, especially from the community, like um, if we can um, invite art organizations to partner with us, like Glendale Arts or Glendale Art Organization, um, Association, um, that would be great. That's where we are at this point. Commissioner Wagner? Yes, I'm still uh, a little unclear. So the planning that you're, the work you're doing would be toward, in an attempt to do a September <coughs> show, or, or would you like a decision today to say, we're not making so any decision, Commissioner. No uh, decision no whatsoever. No decisions today. If you think art in the park in November is n is a good idea, then um, we would like to move forward. We'll come back to you with an action item to form a subcommittee to help us organize the event. Can, can, can I that ask? It will be one month from now, and that will be another one month left. But we are continuing to work. We are going to send out the letters, call for artists, and um, check with um, art organizations and see if they would like to partner with us. Uh, and Mr. Espinoza had a oh. But I think this, this first step that Rep. is talking about is just to fill out the community in Glendale to see if they are interested in participating in art in the park. Once we get that feedback, we'll be in a better position to know if it's feasible to move forward with actually planning with all the details necessary to move forward. And at that point, come back to you, the Commission, to see about your participation in helping us move forward with the program at that point. How is the community going to be uh, consulted and uh, communicated? Well, through email. We're going to contact them through email. Rep. May will be... Oh, a survey. Uh, will be presenting... Um, um, she'll be... Um, we'll be sending out an email requesting um, artists if they're... And I haven't seen this survey and or letter, so I can't speak to it specifically, but one will be devised to send out via email to the community to, to get back feedback on whether we're going to move forward. So Commissioner Reiner? Uh, I guess comments and, mm -hmm. and questions. I, I, would, I would wonder, no questions? No. Qu questions would be okay, but, but the comments uh, on this. Okay, I guess two questions. One is whether, whether we really think an outdoor event planned in November makes as much sense as an outdoor event planned in the summer. And secondly, whatever happened to open studio tour? Those are my two questions. If you remember, I don't. Uh, last year <laughs> uh, we couldn't reserve. Too confusing. Because of the men's inhumanity to men, <clears throat> we wanted to reserve the Brand Gallery and uh, Library Art Galleries, and they couldn't uh, give us we had an option to reserve the, uh, the gallery for one or the other event. And we were talking about moving Open Studio Tour to the Central Library. Mm -hmm. You remember? Right. But we never finalized that. And um, it was made a decision to do the Men's in Humanity to Men, and we used our brand studio uh, space for this event. But Open Studio Tour we were thinking like to replace, not, not replace, it's um, not a similar concept, a project, Art in the Park, to replace with um, uh, Open Studio Tour to replace with um, Art in the Park, but uh, we wanted to try something new. That, this is the, my recollection that this is what we talked about. 
I, we didn't have any scheduled um, um, open studio tour dates back in January. Not that I remember. <clears throat> Let me ask a question, since we can only ask questions. <laughs> this is, this, this, sorry. I'm in the so form of questions. <laughs> this is what Mr. Grant is getting. Oh, I know he's, Mr. Grant. He's, he's, tra he's training us as a, guy's as attorneys. a published author. Um, <laughs> We used to have this problem in the past. Let me preface my question. We used to have this problem in the past where things would just happen without us knowing, and we would just come, and it didn't happen. We voted on... So when we voted to allow our time, it was a split vote. I think two of us voted to, to, to allot time for the Man's Humanity to Man event in lieu of our um, Open Studio Tour. I was never aware that we were just... That was it. Because it was never brought back to us, when are we going to reschedule? So are you telling me that we're not, we have no, um, in this two, 29th fiscal year, we have no plans on, no date or time or anything regarding the Open Studio Tour? No, we don't. We don't. And how, how, how can that be? Who decided that? Without discussing with, with us first. That used to happen before, but I thought we got rid of that problem. You must have missed that meeting. No, we just talked about Art in the Park. To do it Art in the Park in September. <coughs> the Open Studio Tour uh, did not come up as part of our 2009 project. And who, 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 who came up with these? We presented all 2009 projects to you back in 2009, uh, January of 2009. Wasn't it uh, wasn't open to your tour in that uh, January uh, program that you presented? I believe it was um, scheduled for September, and we miscalculated, most probably miscalculated, to have two projects in September. And with our limited resources, there is no way for us to do this kind of huge, big project. So then, uh, I don't mean to put you on on the spot, Ms. No, I do. Rem uh, appreciate but I, oh, so then, your... who, at what point, who decides which one to do? I think um, our resources, sure. we have to really um, evaluate, evaluate um, the situation and see uh, what kind of resources we have. Without manpower, enough manpower and um, limited time actually, there is no way to make promises and not deliver. And we, uh, personally, I thought as responsible to make this decision, um, art in the park will be more easily uh, manageable and to organize than open studio tour and art in the park at the same time. Mr. Uh You know, it is really unfortunate that these budgetary situations and the um, uh, cuts that we are getting left and right, and especially the Arts and Culture Commission that is suffering most for, from all these cuts, um, it is really unfortunate that we get into these kind of situations. But um, I really understand what Commissioner Solis is saying, which is, you know, if there is a decision to be made to any of the programs that was presented and approved to be scrapped or uh, taken off or uh, replaced, it should have been by the knowledge and the approval of the commission. That's basically, I, I believe, what he's saying. So with, uh, with all of this, my question is, um, I understand the fact that you, we have absolutely minimum resources. What is the plan for Open Studio Tour for this year? Are we going to have it according to whoever made this decision or not for this year? We have no plans to have Open Studio Tour this year. Okay. And this Arts in the Park was supposedly replacing that because it was more efficient. Um, uh, 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 it was a more cost efficient and uh, time efficient uh, venture to get into. Is that correct? In a way, it's correct. It was a new uh, project, a new experience. That was one of the reasons why we wanted to try Art in the Park. Okay. So now that we are replacing Art in the Park, what I recall, when we said Man's Inhumanity to Man will be con uh, done at the um, uh, uh, brand galleries, and then when we said, okay, we will take the Man's in uh, the uh, Open Studio Tour to Central Library, I believe that we had already made a decision for that to be in Central Library. 
and I believe that it was uh, even uh, it was con uh, the uh, situation was discussed with the library department, either the uh, director or whoever is responsible for it, and it was kind of approved. Yeah. Do you recall that? Recall the date? I don't recall um, discussing the date. We talked about moving from Brand to the Central Library. But so what is stopping us? What is stopping us to do it in there? That's the. Is it only the manpower and the uh, budget, or there is other reasons that we are not being able to do it? Don't we have enough reasons already? Well, but my, uh, I would like you to go on record and say what the reasons are. Limited resources. Okay. So budget, no manpower, that's basically the two reasons why we are not doing this. Mm, yes, and um, Commissioner Grigorian, we also need to remember, you guys need to remember, um, we are also working on uh, developing policies. We are working on um, bringing grants, doing research. Working. We have so many other things in our hands. It's not... Um, so basically, we don't have enough resources. That's correct. Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. Uh, I think uh, Commissioner Gregorian said most of what needs to be said. It's just uh, the question I had was, why should we replace something which was so successful? And as far as I remember, we decided that we want to have it, and my argument long term was the buses and all that stuff. So. Um, I would appreciate, again, if we would be informed, Then I think um, our chair has the minutes from the meeting. Somehow, this is very new to us, that um, this wonderful program is going to be cut. I can understand that because of budgets, uh, we need to make decisions, but, you know, sort of, we're not clear on that. I'm oh. Honorable Chair and, and, and Commission members, um, it sounds like you would like to really discuss this and, and give your input on it. Uh, I would suggest that we do agendize it for the next meeting, okay. and then we can explore it a little bit further. Right. Agendize it as, as a... Discussion? Discussion item? Yes, as an action item. No, but what's That's the action to take? Well, There's no action to take on this. We just well, want to yes, discuss to it. Well, yes, to do an open study tour or not? The action would be to do it or not, and forming a, a commission or a subcommittee to do it in case we decide to do it. I believe. Is, that, is, that, is that a fair thing? But that would but, be fair. You know, we are, we are going to lose a month on this. Now, there is a valuable month now that we are going to sit down and wait until this comes back as an action item. Is anything going to occur in this one month? Are we going to do some preparations or we are going to be staying at the limbo and then one month from now come back and say maybe even November is not time enough that no, to do No, we have been focused on um, doing art in the park and that's what we are doing now. But if you like us to go back and... Um, Start working on Open Studio Tour. That's another. Now the, the, my question is, it's obviously n not feasible to do the Open Studio Tour. Let's just, I guess this year, we can do Open Studio Tour. So that's why, what are we going to force them to do Open Studio Tour? Well, they can't do Open Studio. They just told us, okay, they can't do it. They're already preparing art in the park. So my question is, why even put it on as an action item? Certainly within your discretion if you want to or not. So we would be voting on something that they said they can't do. Okay. My question is, either open studio tour or art in the park, one of these uh, uh, events, if we do it, mm -hmm. can we do either of them? Even open studio tour if we decide to do it in November? Yes. Yes, of course. We can I, definitely, I, absolutely achieve the goal of doing this in November uh, one, if you want to. One or the other. We cannot do it one or the other. Sure. I understand. One, one or, or the other. other. But I even would like to clarify one thing. Art in the Park has never been intended to replace Open Studio Tour because they're completely different concept. And we know uh, Open Studio Tour was very, very successful. It, it was getting bigger and better. And we would love to keep this event and do it. But, um, like I said, um, we would like to do only one or the other. <clears throat> this time we cannot make promise that we can deliver. So again, even if we just choose the one which is more labor intensive, we can accomplish it by November. I'm sorry, what's your question again? 
can we even if we choose the one which is more labor intensive let's say open studio tour needs a lot more work and manpower let's assume it or the other one okay even if we choose that we can accomplish it i'm sorry the question is can we accomplish it in november Uh, Knowing that we can you? only discuss it at the next meeting. That well, we'll discuss it next meeting to do it or not. But, you know, uh, Commissioner Salis has a very good point. If we are not going to do it, what's even the point of agendizing it? Well, th that was the point was we're not going to do it. It's not an option to yeah. me. So let's just drop it. It's not an option. It's gone for this year. So please. She can't give you an answer like that right away. So, I mean, why put her on the spot? So... I'd like to ask the chair to move on, please, to the next, because this is we're just beating a dead horse here. I wish I had all the answers. Well, believe for you. me, I wish you did too. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry for us directly. You're the only person here representing the city, representing us. So we have to ask these questions. No, of course we are not. This is not personal, Ripsma. You know that. We're beating a dead horse here, so I'd like to. Well, move on. I want to put as a question. So this means, am I right, that this year we are going to have uh, art in the park instead of. Uh, Open studios. Open studios. Because of different reasons, correct? Correct. Is, okay. That's it. Okay. Then so it's... So what is going to be agenda is next time? Nothing. It's nothing. Nothing's going to be agenda. It's well, a decision made. Nothing. Unless you want to make no a decision final decision for Art in the Park to be to take place in November. I can come back but to I thought we, action item. But I thought that's what you re just recommended in this item. Isn't that what you just recommended? This is not an action it's item. It's not an action we're item. Not, so not this recommend. is just... This is just a report. Uh, it will be on the agenda next month. Yes, Commissioner Reiner. I, I am, I, I should be accustomed by now, but I'm not, um, to, ha to having items on the, on the agenda about which we're not, that we're not really permitted to discuss. I don't, I don't quite see the logic of that, but, and I don't, I, I don't suppose you have to take your time to explain it to me. However, um, uh, one way or another, I would hope that Art in the Park can be on the agenda in such a way that we can discuss it and, if necessary, vote. Thank um, you. Oh, yeah, and, and, and I, I can work on uh, that with Rips and May. Thank yeah. you, Commissioner. After, after this uh, meeting. All right. Uh, so is it uh, my question? Is your report an update on the Art in the Park event? Yes. Your report is that we are not going to be able to do it in September. We may be able to do it in November if the commission decides. Is that your report? Not if the commission decides. It is decided. Regardless. Well, we would like Regardless. to do it unless you have some other ideas. If you want to do open studio mm -hmm. tour instead of art in the park, we can go ahead and do that. But we're not making any decisions on this report. Okay. okay. Is that now clear to everyone? Okay. Let's move on, please. Clear, yes. Acceptable. Question. Well, that's, that's a whole different story. We can't discuss Thank that. Thank you. Are you I'm neither report, clear nor... I think so. No. Okay, great. Thanks, uh, Next item, please. Update on the Art in the Park event. Uh, did that. We just, oh, we just did no, that. it's the other one. Please, it's please. the yeah, first one. Review of the Arts Project. Please, please. All right. Well, when I called the item, that's what I called. Yeah, review but of you, the Arts but, Project? But you passed one item. You just skipped yeah. one item. You skipped number B1 and did B1, B2. Right. Okay, so then it would be review of the art projects for 2009 through 2010 fiscal year. However, that's what I did say. You did call that. I, that's what I called. Oh. And your discussion went to the discussion ah, you okay. had. We, we talked about number two when he introduced number one. <laughs> that's, oh. It shows how enthusiastic we are here. <laughs> All right, okay, okay, let's, let's keep moving then. Next item, oh, please. This, well, um, this item was requested by Commissioner Grigorian, and um, as I told you earlier, we had a list of projects um, presented to you back in January for all our art projects scheduled for 2009. Um, since then, we were able to do two big events, the Men's in Humanity to Men and um, the uh, Diamond Award for Achievement in the Arts. And um, currently, we are working on developing the art display policies. From the educational um, series, we have scheduled the arts tune-up for October, and in between we would like to do the workshops, as we talked about in the past. Um, 
the fifth annual Open Studio Tour, uh, like I already mentioned, um, it's a, a great success. It's an annual event, well received and very successful, and we would like to continue doing the Open Studio Tour. Um, and if our time allows us to do uh, more work on our website, website, as you remember, last year we. Um, did a great job with the Open Studio Tour website. Since then, nothing has been updated, and we would like to um, add more pages. Also, I had I have an opportunity to do to become more creative and do a newsletter, uh, do more marketing, more creative way. Uh, we get a lot of emails asking people why we don't send enough emails to them, or um, if they can announce their. Um, events on our website through our um, mailing list. So these are the things that we would like to really um, make it available for them to serve the artistic community better. We will be, uh, we already made appointments with uh, grant writers. We will start uh, researching grants for um, uh, to support our um, upcoming projects in 2009 and 2010. Uh, but in regards to the men's in humanity to men for next year, at this time, um, it, we, I won't be able to give you any report because it has to come from the chair of the committee. Once we get approved to do the event, then we have to reserve the venue and move forward from, from that point. But the Diamond Award and Open Studio Tour are scheduled for next year. Great. This any, is my report. Any questions? Only questions about this item? <laughs> All right. Can I uh, just ask, you know, uh, the report is reasonable, but um, I would have expected a lot more concrete report with, you know, dates and, you know, resources that we have. Because obviously with these resources and with these cuts, I'm not quite sure if we can accomplish any one of those. So I would really appreciate it if you could put this on the item, uh, action item, uh, as, an, as a, what is it, action, business agenda as an action item, okay. so that what we can be, what decide. What would be the action? Let me what would be the action, though? Let me see. There would be no action. You want it as a discussion item? Well, to, to approve a schedule for 2009-2010. If I, if I uh, yeah, please, uh, let Commissioner Gregorian finish the statement, please. Okay, thank you. If we could uh, decide what we really want to do for next year, let's say this is the thing, uh, let's say MIM for April, uh, Open Studio Tour for September, Diamond Awards for May, whatever we do, then we will know if we do really have the resources, do we have the budget, or we are just, you know, dreaming in the sky, and it's not a. Is it a pie in the sky, or it is a real, actual pr plan and program for us for next year? That's what I expected. And again, you see, uh, it is unfortunate. Ripsima is the only one here representing the uh, 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 department right now, uh, and some of it, uh, I regret that you please don't take it personally. But this whole thing is coming up to, you know. Do we have the budget to do all of this, or we are just sitting here and wasting everybody's time? And if we have the budget, I would like to, uh, the, the director to be here and uh, tell us, yes, you do have the budget. You can go ahead and do this, 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 but you cannot do that, that, that. That's the thing that I want as an action item, to, to plan for our uh, whole uh, event and activities for next year. Yeah. Questions? Commissioner Solis. So I still don't know what the action would be. So we would vote on... What? We the action would be that we would uh, itemize the events that we want to organize, and the director would be here, and he will say, yes, you do have the budget or resources to do this, or no, sorry, you don't have this to do that. Then we will eliminate some of the actions, like we did studio tour or the other one for this year, and then we will know exactly where we stand. So we would okay. vote on that? Right? Yes, we will vote on what... We, we plan for next year. There are several issues that I have with doing that, but I'm not going to get into that because this is not the forum. Commissioner Lee, do you have any questions? Okay. I don't think we have any questions, so that's okay. Let's move on to the next item. Thank you for the report. Commission staff comments. Yes, Commissioner Wagner. Uh, 
I attended a fundraiser for our Diamond Award recipient, Stepping Stone Players. They're preparing for their uh, for the Wizard of Oz in September, so keep uh, alert for that. Um, I wanted to mention some upcoming events. Uh, the Shakespeare in the Park coming up July 30th, and there's another production August 6th. That was in our calendar, or our minutes from the last time. One at Glen Oaks Park, and uh, well, watch the city website, I guess. Summer Nights uh, on the Plaza coming up July 31st. For those of us who might join in, in uh, Glendale Clean and Beautiful's event, they have the I Love My City photo contest. If you haven't been there, it's a great event. And August 4th, National Night Out is another citywide event uh, happening at various quarters of the city. I know Adam Square, uh, Mini Park, and the Homeowners Association is working uh, in cooperation with the city on that. I understand, although I missed the email, that we're getting to work on Unity Fest, and perhaps Commissioner Lee can tell us the date if you have it. It's not on my calendar yet. Not confirmed yet. Um, I'll, I'll speak. I'll speak with Zizette find out what I, how I missed it. Uh, I wanted to mention that, um, of course, as the city is struggling with its budget and the state is struggling with its budget, our district is as well, and I believe I mentioned at our last meeting that uh, Dr. Schaff, Joan Schaff, had, had retired. We're still uh, waiting to see what <coughs> we're, we're, I'm hoping that there will be still a point person. The job description will be undoubtedly different and will not be entirely given over to visual and performing arts coordinator. But um, but until then, if there's information to be shared, it would go to Dr. Escalante's office for for uh, you know for program. conveying information out to the schools. Um, and I I guess I will stay tuned for city budget um, information. I think it might be I might ask that if we could have a report have not a big report, but just a little update on uh, what our budget looks like, what the effect on the arts and culture budget appears to be going forward as compared to last year. Um, but I'll, I'll leave that to the chair to work out for the next agenda. I, so I will thank do you. So. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Ryan. Uh, Mr. Chair, you might recall that this commission and also the subcommittee for the uh, um, annual uh, genocide commemoration event, the uh, Man's United to Man subcommittee, asked me uh, when we had our meeting, um, we wrapped up and we decided that uh, since this was a very um, a successful event, uh, what, what we actually uh, evaluated was if we had more time, we would have had even probably a more successful and better event. So the subcommittee asked me, uh, as the chair of that subcommittee, to um, discuss, try to c contact with the uh, uh, city manager's office and uh, get a uh, meeting with some members of the subcommittee so that we can plan ahead for next year in case they want to do that. So I have contacted the... Um, uh, uh, city manager's office, Ms. Uh, Zizette Mullins, and uh, she was to talk to the mayor, Mr. Quintero, and uh, the uh, councilman who chaired the committee uh, last year, Mr. Najarian, uh, and uh, to take, uh, tell us back when we can meet with them to start planning. Um, I haven't received any calls from them yet. I suppose they are working on it, and hopefully as soon as we get uh, this meeting, uh, some of you will be notified by email, maybe through Ripsime. And, um, you know, we will see if uh, what they plan to do for next year. So basically my report is that I have contacted and I'm waiting for the response. Great. Thank you. And actually, as, as, as a little bit of a comment on that, that is one of the issues that I would have with agenda uh, voting on a whole fiscal year because our plans do change. So yes. that's just a okay. side note. Commissioner um, Lee, go ahead. I want to invite everybody out for this coming Saturday. The city is putting on cruise night, so please come uh, 5.30. I think it's going to start until uh, 9 or 10. Um, 10 uh, I, I apologize. I forgot all the, all the uh, groups that are, uh, are going to be there. Um, I just remember Shanana will be there. So for all you um, 
old timers out there who remember their songs. They're a really good band to listen to. So hopefully everybody can come out to it. Great. Uh, any other comments? I have uh, one thing uh, that uh, Commissioner Wagner already stole my thunder a little bit. Sorry. Uh, it's, uh, it's okay. Uh, National Night Out uh, is August 4th. Um, so various uh, areas of the city of Glendale are doing this at various parks and other locations. Um, I think Palanconi is doing one. Uh, and myself and uh, Commissioner Solis are involved in the one planned at Pacific Park. And uh, all of them start at 6 p.m., which is nice. Um, and I don't know, what, what kind of fun activities do we have? We have a, we, we have, we have a climbing wall. Uh, there will be food, there will be drinks, there will be music. We have it's a couple fair. of... Yeah. Uh, hope, hopefully we get some firefighters to come out there with a the truck. Music. Yeah, music. <coughs> we're, we're, having a, we're involving Horace Mann. Um, they're, they're bringing in some kids to dance to Armenian music and uh, their folklorico group. Uh, we have the... Uh, this is only at the Pacific Park, by the way, so if you go anywhere else, you're not going to see any of these. Um, good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We have a monopoly on all the good stuff. And also, uh, we have a ladies' dance group from the YMCA. Um, so yeah, come out on August 4th, go to your local park or your local uh, recreation center, and they probably will probably have one. So that's it. Anything else? Other comments? Shirley? I want to thank Misha for coming out again and making a very good presentation. And I hope all the artists in Glendale can can uh, submit information to us so we can do these type of possibly highlights during either our commission meetings or you know elsewhere and give us ideas to do that so thank you yes Commissioner Wagner. have we had any news this year about national art day i think it's coming up august 11th 4th yeah i think i think it's 11th i think you're right are we talking about um thank you. Becky, thank you, Becky. May. Yes, we did receive emails from her, and Richard forwarded her email, uh, helped her to promote her event through our uh, mailing list. But she hasn't been to our commission. She usually yeah. comes on the, yeah. you know, a pres makes a presentation here, yeah. So what happened? We're, we're, we're becoming old news. <laughs> okay. <laughs> any, any other uh, comments? I can't think of anything to talk about, so uh, except music, but humming doesn't count. So uh, we'll move on. Next item, please. Written communications. There's none. What a surprise. Uh, next, <laughs> next item is adjournment. Let's adjourn. Okay. Conrad's. Thank you. That, that, that was a little slow.